In order to determine the bending rigidity of individual E. coli cells, first grow the bacteria to exponential phase and then attach them to a chemically treated cover slip surface. Let the cells already attached to the surface grow further so that they develop flexible ends. Next, flow in dielectric beads, trap a bead and bend it to the flexible tip of a cell. The final step of the procedure is to bend the cell with the optical trap and measure the resulting force displacement data. The bending stiffness of the cell can be calculated by a linear fit to the force displacement data. Hi, I'm Stephen Wang from the lab of Professor Joshua Shevitz in the Louis Sickler Institute of Integrative Genomics and the Department of Physics at Princeton University. Today we'll show you a procedure of bending individual E. coli cells and measuring cell stiffness. We use this procedure in our lab to study the contributions of different intracellular structures to the mechanical integrity of the bacterial cells. So let's get started. To begin this procedure, grow three milliliters of any E. coli cells in LB medium to exponential phase. Once the cells reach an optical density at 600 nanometers of between 0.2 and 0.4, supplement the culture with 50 micrograms per milliliter of cephalexin for 15 minutes to induce filamentous growth. During these 15 minutes, make a flow chamber. Attach two pieces of double-sided tape with a 3 millimeter gap between the pieces to a glass slide and tape a cover slip on top. The gap between the pieces of tape creates a channel for flowing liquid. Coat the cover slip with PEI by flowing 10 microliters of 1% polyethylenamine diluted in water into the flow chamber with a micropipette.